Hey gang, Tim here at Core Electronics, and today we are replacing a FEP for a resin 3D printer. After creating with a resin 3D printer for some time, you're gonna need to replace the original FEP release film. These are consumable products, and if left on too long, they will result in less sharp and less reliable prints. If your FEP has a hole or too many scratches so it's hard to see through, or flexes more than 10 millimeters up and down, it's time to change it. My FEP here is a perfect example of an old FEP. It has two puncture holes and a bunch of scratches. A good FEP is one that is clean, devoid of most scratches and taut. So taut that you can lightly tap on it and it's gonna sound like a drum. On the table before me is everything you're gonna to need to make this really easy. You're gonna want a paper towel and IPA to keep everything clean. You're gonna want gloves to keep your hands safe. You're gonna want a four millimeter Allen key you're gonna want some cardboard, scissors, and a new FEP sheet. You're also gonna want a stapler. After cleaning everything thoroughly with IPA, remove your tank by unscrewing the two thumb screws. Then rotate your tank upside down and remove the old FEP by unscrewing the bolts with your Allen key. With that done, remove the metal spacer and give everything another quick IPA clean. We can now grab our new FEP. Very importantly, a new FEP often has a transparent protective covering on both sides that can be very hard to see. Make sure to peel these protective coverings off. Now, to make the installation process easier, I use a piece of cardboard with a hole the size of the printer's tank cut out into the middle of it. The cardboard prevents the FEP from slipping and helps maintain even tautness. Make sure to square the FEP to the hole in the cardboard and then staple it multiple times to secure them both together. Now overlay the FEP and the cardboard over the top of the tank. Once lined up and happy, you're gonna take that metal spacer and you're gonna put it on top and press down lightly. Now you're gonna take out something pointy like the top of the scissors. I have this little tool here and we're gonna poke little holes through the FEP at every single hole. We're bringing the bolts back into the equation and we're gonna push one of those bolts through the hole and lightly screw it in about a third of the way. I'm now gonna do the same with the opposite side. Continue this process, slowly adding bolts each time at opposite sides and tighten them all down bit by bit in sequence. At a certain point, the cardboard is going to stop being useful as the FET becomes more and more taut. When this happens, just remove the cardboard by undoing the staples. Continue screwing all the bolts down until they're fully tightened. You are going to end up with excess FET around the edges. Carefully remove it using scissors or a razor blade. Please be careful and always cut away from your body. Having completed this process, your tank looks good as new. Make sure everything is clean and reinstall it to your resin printer. Home it and continue your printing escapades. Check our starting with resin printing if you need a hand homing your 3D printer. Link to that down below. And that's that. So until next time, stay cozy.